Before adding any vocabulary in an AAC system, it's good practice to first do a search to see if the word is already programmed into the device. In this case, I'm going to uh, look for gummy worms. So I'll go into my search feature in the word finder, just do a search here quickly for gummy. It's not found there. Just try the other spelling of it, which may have been used. That's also not there. Now the third search I'm gonna do, knowing those terms aren't in there, the third search I'm gonna do is just for uh, what a gummy worm is. It's a snack food, so um, it makes sense to put this with other snack foods, so I'll find where those are in the system using a generic uh, term here that's related. So I see this is under the foods in a group organized as snacks, and the word snack is already in here. So we can see where this word is here by clicking this search result in Word Finder. We go to eat snacks and desserts, and this is how snack. we would say the word snack. But now we actually want to get that snack in here so I can request gummies or comment about those to somebody else. So we see a whole bunch of spaces here available to do that. I'm going to um, go ahead and populate this button here on my system. So we're on the page where we'd like the terminology to appear. We're gonna go into menu and edit page. Once we do that, the toolbar at the top turns red to show that we're in editing mode for the food snacks page. I'm gonna choose this blank location here and create a new button. The button label is where I'm gonna type what's shown above the picture on the screen. So here I'm doing gummy worm, or worms. I'll do gummy worm. We can add an S with another button later. Uh, when you type in the button label, the button message automatically copies it. And, and most frequently in this system, that's fine having the message and the label the same. There might be some times you want to change that, particularly with really long text, but uh, we're good as we uh, stand right here. I'm going to minimize the keyboard just so I can see more options. The pronunciation's fine if I needed to make sure it was pronounced correct, maybe with a unique spelling. I could make that change here, but gummy worm should be fine. I am going to select an image. So select image lets you choose from things that are saved in the system. So I might click on the uh, magnifying glass here. It will automatically try and search for gummy worm. It's not showing anything there. So I'll clear that out and perhaps just try worm. do a search and I can make that selection choose save and now that appears there if I had an image saved on my device though I'm going to come in and edit this button so instead of choosing select image I could choose import image perhaps I've gone out to the internet and found a picture where I've used the camera on my device to take a picture. Import image is going to let me access either the camera or the Photos app. Because I did save something earlier, I'm going to choose Image Library. Choosing camera would bring up the live camera app, and you could take a, a picture in real time. But I found one on the web, so I'm going to choose Image Library. And it's going to show me the photos saved in my photo app. So here's the Albanese Gummy Worm package. Selecting that, I can scale this and, and change it, but I'm okay with the way it appears here. And I'm going to tell it I want to use this now. The one last important step is it gives us a name of the date and time it was imported. But I actually like to clear this out and type what the actual item is. This way, if later on I want to use it again, I can search for gummy and it'll find this picture in my saved uh, user library. So now I've got gummy worm as the image name. I'm happy with that going to hit done. Now we see it's retained that name, Gummy Worm, so I can search for it later. And now we're good. I'm going to hit save. As you've already seen, Tackies were another preferred snack. So I'm going to choose another blank button here on my snack page and create a new button for those. We'll go ahead and type in the label again. And the button message, again, I want to be the same, so that's okay. I'm going to go to import image and once again choose from my image library to get to my photos app. Now I can select the image that I'd like to use for this button. Tap use. And again, I'd like to rename these so it has a usable searchable name.
done and save. That's all I want to add to this particular page at this point. So I'll hit done in the editing toolbar. And now we're back with both of Gummy those worm. items available. So I can now say, I, I want, want Take us. I want to take us.